Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Um, today I'm here with my foodie traveler's notebook inserts. And as I mentioned before, these were inspired by Kirsten at Adeline Country Cottage. I recently received two from her and that video is also here. I think it might've been the last video I did. Um, so if you wanna see her beautiful books, go back to that video and check them out. I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of these today. I was inspired because I had some local um, food magazines and I didn't want to throw them away and the covers of them were really nice. So I saved them and I made some TN inserts. Um, they say S-T-A-K-D, that's stacked. And that's um, me and my friends, our, our acronym for our names. And it's just a little fun thing that we did. So I made each one of us one with our initial on them. And these are going to be given to them when I see them on vacation. Um, so if you're seeing this video, then they're already in their hands. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. So this first one, this one's for Shana. Um, I will just flip through them. They're pretty simple. I wanted to leave like a lot of space. I stitched around the spines, or sorry, the covers on all of them. Um, so I just put in some of the retro. Oh, <laughs> I had these um, from the from the 70s. My friend Gail gave me a whole bunch of these, and I tried to pick ones that were kind of relatable to who the book's going to. This one's for Shana. So tamale hot dog cakes, which I thought was just kind of funny, and Shana's funny to me, so that's why I put this one in here. Um, this is some ephemera from Tsunami Rose. She represents Oxnard. And all right, so as you can see, like with the magazine papers, I did this a lot. I stitched them together with um, coffee stain paper to make them thicker. So you have something nice on this side and something on this side. And I have some tabs here that I got from Dolly. Also, um, I, I thought these foodie books would be um, kind of fun because when you're traveling, or even maybe when you're not traveling, if you're at home and you just like to go try new places, these these would be fun to have to um, write down like food places that you like going to, et cetera, et cetera. A little potuckalope here that I made, and inside of it is a teeny tiny um, card, and I put A in there because Shana Ace Boom Boom, <laughs> and then a little tag behind it. All right, oh, just a little paper tag. I'll put the date on there. So Shana likes like birds and stuff a lot, so I felt like this page would be suitable for her. Little tea tags that I like to save. And they have little quotes on the back of them. This one says, happiness is an accomplishment put some seeds in there. All my food seeds were gone, so I put flower seeds in all of them. Little cheesecloth tab, avocado tuck spot, coffee paper, literally coffee paper. <laughs> some burlap from Shana. This is a tuck spot with some extra paper in it, and then it's also a tuck spot behind the bag. So again, this is just a piece from the magazine and I just attached it to some cardstock so she can journal on the back. This is a coffee sleeve cardboard. And in here, some more Tsunami Rose ephemera. It's another piece of that envelope, tuck spot. And there's my stamp. So that one's Shana's. Terry's. Like I said, they're all pretty similar, so I'm just flipping through. Um, here, this one, oh, oh, <laughs> I have to glue that back on. It well, it was holding this, so I'll glue that back on. <laughs> um, it's just a little um, pull down of some like little restaurants that you can go to if she's ever in this area, I guess. <laughs> Another potuckalope. Shana 
doily. So yeah, this one, the paper is attached. Same thing here. So as you can see, they're pretty similar. So Terry's recipe card is the Singapore. I don't know why I picked, I think I just picked that one randomly because I was running out of like neat ones. I've been using those for some, a few things. So Terry gets Singapore. And also Terry lives in the South, so I thought fried green tomatoes were suitable for her, but more tsunami rose. I love these um, like food um, ephemeras that she did. Seed packet. More tsunami rose. That's a tuck spot. So this food and wine was actually on the cover. I just moved it here. Terry likes to drink wine, so I put the wine pages in hers. And that's it. I gotta glue that little butterfly back in. Darn it. So this one's mine. I put strawberries because strawberries are abundant. Then I got the strawberry recipe card. Strawberry smash. Little asparagus tuck spot. I love asparagus, so <laughs> that's why I picked asparagus for my book. Another potuckalope, a little card in there for April. Tsunami Rose, this is a pocket. I just sewed it onto the page. Bag. Oh, it goes like this. That's actually parchment paper. Another, I love pineapples. <laughs> this is a little tuck spot right here. I was going to gesso this page and do something over it. California poppies in mine because obviously California. Another tuck spot here. These tabs from Dolly, I just sewed them. I glued them and I sewed them. They're really pretty. This one, it was kind of funny because it's like a little cart, but it's called Libation Station, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. This is a pocket, and that's the back. So next is Kim's, and this is what the cover looks like. She gets tequila daiquiri, <laughs> or gazpacho salad. They all have a cupcake in them, because I like to bake. Different types of papers too, like Regular paper, card stock. Oh, this one is Tsunami Rose here. This one's different. Little princess oranges. Y'all have these little pockets. This one's just pretty. Look how pretty. See, so if you guys have like old magazines and you don't really want to throw them away, just find page pages in them that are like cohesive to a theme. And, um,. You know put one of these together because they're super fun and easy and fast 
So again, I back that with cardstock. Any of these pages that anybody doesn't like, they can just gesso over it and make it something they do like. Let's pock it. And that's it. And last but not least, Miss Dolly. So this is her cover. She likes purple, so I gave her the purple doily. And her drink, since she's a pet lover, is Salty Dog. <laughs> Coffee paper. Doily. This is a pocket. She likes cake, so <laughs> I gave her a cake pocket and it says subscribing is a piece of cake. Is it really? She likes purple, so she's got that little purple tea right there. And she likes animals, like I said, so, so she gets the cows in the center. Purple envelope. Seeds, oh, she got the purple flowers. <laughs> Tsunami Rose Burlap at the top from Shabu. So, uh, I think this is a tuck spot. Yeah. So, as you can see, these are really fun kind of things just to, to have to swap out your traveler's notebooks with, um, depending on what you're going to be doing. And this is it. So, gang, I hope you liked these, and thank you guys all for watching, and until next time, toodaloo.